Hey YouTubers, I wanted to do a quick um, tutorial on how to set up for um, GarageBand for uh, ACX or audiobook narration. So that's slightly different than um, setting up for doing voiceover. So we want to go into GarageBand to our preferences. We want to make sure that we are have our input device. I'm using the Mic Plus and I'm plugging that directly into my laptop and then I'm plugging headphones into the bottom of the, of the microphone. I'm using the output device as the system setting so if I play it back I'm listening to my headphones. In advanced I'm going to go to audio recording resolution and um, click off 24-bit because we want to make it 16-bit. If we're spitting out wave files you want 16-bit waves and then there's no file conversion. Okay so you get out of that. Um, then you go into your audio MIDI setup to make sure that you are at the right sampling rate. So if you go click on Finder and you open up your Applications folder in a Mac and you click on Utilities, if you go to Audio MIDI Setup, you click on Audio MIDI Setup and that will open up. And we're set up on the Mic Plus. It might be a built-in microphone. Then you want Mic Plus and you go to your input and you see that the format is 48,000 Hertz or 48K. You want that to be 44.1K. Okay, so we've set this now. So we are at 44.1 for our input and our output. We can get out of the mic, out of the audio MIDI setup and now we're into GarageBand. Um, we need to check the submission requirements of ACX and that's why we have um, these are of, of the audiobook, consistent sound, a mono or stereo, opening, closing, credits, all that stuff. Your file must be 192 kilobits or higher MP3, constant bit rate, and 44.1. That's why we changed it in the audio MIDI setup. One chapter a section, 120 minutes or less. Must be read aloud. Room tone at the head and the tail. I'll show you that in a, in a second. Be free of sound, of extraneous sounds. Measure between minus 23 and minus, and minus 18. That is kind of like not too loud, not too soft. Minus three peak values, which would be the peaks should not be higher or hotter than minus three. So come back up to here. So now I'm going to go into record. I'm going to make sure that we're in time and not beats because we're recording. So then this, so the ruler's in seconds and not in uh, bars and beats. We have our count off turned off and our metronome turned off and now we are recording. And so here is chapter one. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> chapter one. And now we are doing our narration recording and it is we've checked our gain to make sure that we're in the yellow or in right around minus 12 to minus 6 and not into the red, and then that is our recording. Okay, I'm gonna hit the return button to go back to the beginning, and I screwed up, and here's where I say chapter one. So I've got a little bit of sound before of dead space there. There's that little, look that, like that little dot of sound. So I'm gonna take the bracket and I'm gonna go to about there. I'm going to pinch out on the trackpad and now we see we've got about, if this starts at eight seconds, we've got about almost one second of room tone beforehand. So if we pinch out and then drag this to the beginning, hit, hit our return button, we're at the beginning, we've got tone at the end. We've probably got a, a couple seconds. You can trim that up a little bit just to leave a little bit. And that's our recording. Okay, so now we need to go into uh, our controls, which would be either B or this this knob. We'll turn it on, that, that, that clicker there. If you have any questions in GarageBand, you can always turn on this question mark. And if you move your cursor around, it will show you what everything is. So you always can go, oh, what is that? How do I do that? Just turn this on. Turn it, click it off. 
Okay, so now we've got our controls. Let's go to EQ, and we've got nothing there. It's not on because it's gray. So let's go to settings. I'm going to go to voice. I'm going to go to voice over EQ. It's If it's on, it's blue. Okay, so I'm going to take a couple of these things down because they're a little bit too much. I just want to add a little bit of, of EQ to it, okay? A little bit of brightness. So now when I go to the Controls tab, you'll see that these knobs have turned from noon to slightly reflect whatever that is. And there's this switch that turns it on and off, okay? We've got our compressor. If we scroll down here and click on this arrow for plugins, this is where we're going to see it. The, the channel EQ is on. Now it's off. Same thing, you can turn it on here. Okay. Now go to compressor. I'm going to click on the middle there, and this compressor dialog comes up. I'm going to go to voice, and let's go to narration vocal. And we are going to turn that on. And then now this amount knob is determining how much compression is added to this. It's on. We can turn it off there. We can turn it on or off there. Okay. There's master echo and master reverb, and we want to turn those off. We don't need either of those. So if you're if we're playing back, chapter one. You're gonna see if you turn this all the way up. All of these lights are going to light up and there's a lot of compression applied. If you want to pull it back to about 10 or 11 o'clock, maybe one or two will light up at the hot points. Okay? So there is our narration vocal. We've compressed it. We've added a little bit of EQ. You can hit B to get rid of that now. You don't need it. And we're going to share. So I'm going to go export song to disk. I'm going to be in my ACX folder. I'm going to create a folder called ACX. If you need to, you, go, you click on um, desktop and then you would click new folder and you would create a folder on your desktop and title it ACX. However, I already have one, so I'm going to put this in the ACX folder. I'm going to name it ACX test 050120. If you can't find this, you click on that and it'll all come up. It's in the ACX folder. I want it to be an MP3. 192 or higher. So high quality or highest quality. I'm choosing highest quality and I'm clicking export. All right. Now, if you go into our ACX folder, ACX test 50120 is there. I click on it once and hit the space bar. Chapter one. And it opens up. Yeah, no. And that's how you set up for ACX, audiobook narration in GarageBand. Stay tuned for other upcoming videos.